Now today, Blue Bricks by Property Brothers is bringing you to Telan Vista where we are not close to just one, but two new future MRT stations across two different MRT lines. And today we are showing you a three-room unit standing at 72 square meters. And if you are someone who is looking for something that's below the $450,000 mark, I think you will love this unit. Let's go. Now welcome to this unit. Remember to stay on to the end of this video where we will be sharing 5 BB Reno ideas that you can do for this home. And for now, let's begin with the BB Packs. Turban Vista is a cluster where it's situated alongside Turban Gardens Road and this cluster TOP back in 2013 which also means that we have a very healthy balance lease of 89 years left. Now we are situated in a very serene area where there are only a few HDB clusters here and because the clusters here were built in batches, we have older clusters that completed in 1966 where the newest cluster completed in 2016. Turban Vista is made up of 4 blocks with each block at 40 storeys high and our block has a mix of only 3 three and four room units. And because in this area, there are more and more newer flats that are being built here. There's already a childcare center as well as a neighborhood center in the vicinity where you can do your grocery shopping as well as multiple food options. And I will share that more in a location later. But for now, let's move on to our BB floor plan analysis. Our unit is a three room standing at a size of 72 square meters and coming into a unit you will first see your living and dining room and enclosed kitchen with your service yard area for your laundry. Household shelter in the middle where you can double up as your main storage area, your common bedroom with the common bathroom opposite and lastly your master bedroom at the back with its own ensuite bathroom. Now I think that the layout is very efficient and spacious so the new homeowner can tap on your creativity to design the space to your own liking. And without further ado, let's kick start the home tour. So as you come in from the door, you can realise that actually there is no corridor in your foyer areas. What you can do is actually put up some shoe rack beside the door for your shoes. And you can also choose to do up cabinetry here so you can put your go-to item just before you leave home. Alright, so heading into your living room, you realise that there's a very comfortable four-seater sofa that's already placed here. What you can do is also, if you want, you can switch up to an L-shaped sofa. And opposite, of course, is where you put your TV console and your wall-mounted TV. You have a very wide window panel that's already done up for you. This is also almost a full height kind of setting. You can see that there's a vision exchange, you can see the JTC building, Genting Hotel, you can even view Chinese Garden from here. Where the vision exchange is, is where the whole Jurong East area is at. This unit also have natural north-south orientation, so you can realise there's very good natural lighting flowing to the home. And secondly, with a north-south kind of orientation, you do get very good crosswinds that's flowing into the home. And when you look out, you do get this very, very nice greenery because of this open space right here. Now, moving on to your dining area, there's currently a four-seater table placed right here, flush to the side. If you wish, you can also do up a countertop table kind of setting so that you segregate between your living and your enclosed kitchen. And behind your dining table is where you find your enclosed kitchen. You can flush your countertop table all the way to the two panels of wall that you see here. Built in top and bottom cabinets and then you can place in all your sinks, your ovens as well as your kitchen essentials along the way. Now the electrical points are already made ready for you over at this side is where you can put your fridge and if you're not using a two-door fridge, you can also put in a small shelf right at the corner here for your condiments. And towards the back of the kitchen, there's already a transparent bifold door, so you can have a segregation between your yard and your kitchen. What's good about having a transparent bifold door is that you do get natural lighting that's flowing in from the yard as well, so your kitchen is naturally well lit. And secondly, with your bifold door, you can also prevent the greasy odours from your cooking from entering into your laundry in the yard. So over to your yard, very functional area as well where you can place your washing machine come dryer towards this end. You have your power plug there and also it's good for you to do your laundry here because you have a drainage plug right here below your washing machine area as well as the entrance towards your common bathroom right at the end. This bathroom actually has a Jack and Jill design and what that means is that you have two separate entrances. One is from your yard and the other one is from your corridor that links to your bedrooms. Owner kept in its original condition such that you also have two separate areas for your W see as well as your shower area so that you ensure that your water puddles from your showering will only be contained within the shower area. And on the other side, you also have your sink and a full length mirror. And when you come out to your corridor, you also realise that you have a very nice home shelter that's already tucked towards the side of your corridor. Now before I continue the rest of the home tour, let me just share a little bit on our BB location analysis. <laughs> Now where we are located is at the western side of Singapore, right beside Penjuru Road, where a short one minute drive will lead you to either AYE, which connects you to other major expressways, 
or to West Coast Road which can lead you to West Coast Highway and to CBD. Just a quick 12 minute bus ride away, you'll find Jurong East MRT Station and this is where you can find a plethora of different malls including GEM, IMM, JCube as well as Westgate. What is going to be very exciting is that Turban Gardens is going to be flanked by not just one but two new MRT stops on two different MRT lines that are well within walking distance. Number one will be Jurong Lake District Station which falls on the Cross Island Line and number two will be Pandan Reservoir Station which falls on the Jurong Region Line. Now, although the stations are going to be completed in 2032 and 2028 respectively, I think if you're a young family that's looking to stay here for the long term, I think that the distance and the proximity to the MRT station is something that's worth you looking at. For parents seeking schools in the vicinity, we have Fuhua Primary School and Commonwealth Secondary School located within the 1 to 2 km radius. And in terms of groceries and food options, Turban Place Shopping Mall is the closest at just a 6 minute sheltered walking distance away with Sheng Siong Supermarket and NTC Fairprice, bakeries and coffee shops. Of course, just an additional 5 minute walk away, you will get to Turban Gardens Food Centre which you can get all your different types of hawker food. Now one unique highlight of this locale is the proximity to Pandan Reservoir Park, a mere 10 minute stroll away, perfect for leisure walks as well as your daily jogs. Now I think it's vital to take note that when the government decides to build MRT stations in certain locations, there are going to be some form of master plan transformation that's going to take place. So in the Jurong area itself, the major ones include the development of the Jurong Business District and Jurong Innovation District, creating new spaces for offices, homes, transport and leisure. What it means to you as a buyer is that if you're already planning to stay here for the long term, these developments have already been locked in by the government and if you do buy our unit here, you get the first mover advantage without having to pay a premium when those developments move towards completion. Now talking about the location itself, I think it's good for us to touch a a little bit on our BB pricing analysis. Now if you take a look within Turban Vista, there is only one three-room unit asking at 508000 If you were to move just below us, we have Turban View. The size of the three rooms are slightly smaller at 721 square feet, asking between four hundred dollars to $498,000. Other options in the area include several older clusters that TOP in 1970s and 1980s that are ranging between three hundred forty dollars to $400,000. Now if you go closer to Clementi area, the newer clusters which completed post-2010 are ranging between $600,000 to $650,000. So our unit here is asking at a price of $430,000 and if you ask someone who is looking for a three-room unit that has a healthy balance lease of 89 years left and you also want to find something below the $450,000 mark, our unit here certainly hit most of the tick boxes. Moreover, two new MRT stations are going to be built and two different new MRT lines that's going to be completed in the next six to eight years. Now I think if you stay here, you get to experience the new major URA transformations that's going to take place in this area and for now let's move on with the home tour. Now heading to your common bedroom, you have a very spacious space over here. Now what you can do also, if you put in your queen size bed in the middle, that will be very comfortable. Now if you wish, you can put up to a super single frame right at this corner and then you can place in your study desk opposite your bed. And of course, this area will then be allocated more for your wardrobe space. Now what you realise is that you also have four panels of glass windows over here, similar to your living room, which also allows natural lighting and wind flow coming into your room. Now moving on to your master bedroom, now your master bedroom is conveniently tucked towards the back of the house. What you see here is a queen size bed that's conveniently placed in the middle. And what you can do is to put two side tables at both sides of the bed. And opposite the bed is where you can put two to three panels of wardrobe space. Now what I appreciate about this master bedroom is that you get window panels over here. You also do get window panels at the back of the bedroom. So that naturally makes your room very airy and bright throughout the day. Now all the bedrooms also have the windows with the same kind of facing as your living room which is predominantly north so you do not get direct sunlight into your bedrooms as well as your living room. And for your master ensuite bathroom, full sanitary wear has been done up for you, sink, WC as well as shower head. You also have your ventilation window at the top which dispels your moisture. For now let's talk a bit about our BB financial analysis. Assume that both of you are earning a combined gross income of $6,000 that will also qualify you for the enhanced housing grant of $35,000. Assuming you are taking a HDB loan, adding on your buyer stamp duty to the asking price of $430,000 that will bring your total cost to $437,500. Assuming you have a combined CPF OA of $40,000 and taking into account the total grant amount of $135,000, the remaining loan amount would therefore be $262,500. Assuming a 2.7 
1.6% interest rate over a 25-year loan tenure, your monthly mortgage will add up to $1,191. Your combined CPF OA contribution per month of $1,380 will be more than sufficient to pay the monthly mortgage Now for our first BB Reno idea, what you can do is to do up a TV console as well as a feature wall right here. Now for BB Reno idea number two, what you can do is to use light and minimalist colors and materials for your kitchen as well as install track lights below the top cabinetry such that you improve the coziness of your home. Now for BB Reno idea number three, what you can do for your common bathroom is that you can add on a full length of mirror panels with storages at the back of the panel so you do get extra storage for your toiletries and bathing supplies. Now for BB Reno idea number four, what you can do for your master bedroom is that instead of two movable side tables that you put alongside your bed, what you can do is also to customize a built-in side table with top cabinets at the top so you do get more storage for your master bedroom as well. And for our last BB Reno idea, what you can do for your ensuite master bathroom is that you do up a shower screen that segregates between your wet and dry area within the ensuite bathroom itself. Now we have come to the end of this Blue Bricks home tour video at Turban Vista and if you ask someone who is looking for a three room unit at the age of 10 years old and if you want to find something that's below the quantum mark of $450,000, I think you will love this unit. Now if you like what you've seen in this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow us on all social media channels, Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. Now, if you want to schedule for a physical viewing, you can call our listing managers with the numbers down below. My name is Yong Jun, Blue Bricks by Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show you the place. You can place in also a study desk put to the other side of the room. Oh, yeah, I think that's quite... Do contact our listing managers with the numbers down below. And if you like... And my name is Yong Jun, Blue Bricks by Pro Property...